This anonymous YouTube channel earns up to $41,000 per month simply by creating and uploading YouTube shorts. And the greatest thing is that it's all done by AI. The titles, descriptions, hashtags, and content are all generated by AI. As you can see, it's basically relatable and shareable content. And I'm going to teach you how to build over a thousand of these for free in no time. We'll utilize two AI tools to make this happen and automate everything we're doing. The first tool is ChatGPT. In order to give you exactly what we're after here, I'm going to copy and paste the prompt that I'm going to show you in a moment right below this video. The secondary prompt is also there, and it's already engineered to give you what we're after. So let me walk you through what we have here. So we're going to ask it to create 50 sets of facts and sets being the topic, the part one and the part two. I'm giving it a bunch of examples below this, and I'm also asking it to format it in a way that we can copy and paste this into our next tool so it becomes really, really easy. And so it's going to give you a table with that breakdown step by step. And I also asked it to adjust with a couple different fact types. So psychology, crush relationships, boy-girl relationships, and so on. So that way we're going to get a really nice variety. I also made it very specifically focus on content that is very relatable so that it's highly shareable and engagement driven, which is exactly what we're after and what you typically see on YouTube that you would otherwise interact with. We're going to copy and paste it, hit send message and wait for it to generate. So this will create us 50 facts to begin with. You may alter this number. I wouldn't go above 50. Anywhere between 30 and 50 is ideal. The sweet spot for getting the most out of chat GPT. We're going to want to copy everything we have here, so let's do that. Then, we'll move on to our next tool, which we'll use to perform some automated editing, allowing us to put everything together and create a ton of videos at once. As you can see, with a little bit of tweaking and adjusting, I was able to create 50 videos. We are now on Canva.com. What we're going to do now is click the search bar in the middle of this page, type YouTube Shorts. Pick the YouTube Shorts template and then choose Create Blank Template. And this will proceed to create a fresh template for us that is prepared for use. We will then take a few steps to prepare this template so that we can begin the automatic video creation side. So we're going to click on Applications in the bottom left here and then scroll down a little bit till we see videos here. You can also search for this in the search bar here, but once you find it, let's click Videos and here in the search bar. We just want to pick one of these videos, as you can see, and when you locate one you like, we'll click on it. We just need to clean this up so we can start putting text on it, and to do that, we'll make it much shorter. We only need a 5-6 to six second total video, and we'll also make sure that any additional background noise or background music that's already applied to this video isn't carried forward. So, to shorten it, we'll click the little cut icon here and drag it all the way down to 6 seconds. The final step is to remove any background audio or noise. So go ahead and click on the video. Then click the volume icon, pull this all the way down, and you're done. Next step is text. So let's go to text and just drag in any of these text styles because we're going to adjust it. So this is our first piece of text, which is going to be the topic. So I'm just going to replace this text with the word topic, and then I'm going to drag it up to the top here. This is about where I want it. Now I'm going to style it so to adjust that I'm going to double click, so I highlight everything I'm going to change it to white. We're going to duplicate this, drag it down, and this will serve as our part 1 text. So I'm going to double click in here and replace the text with just part 1, so we know what's what. There is a part 2 now, and what we're actually going to do is click on part 1 of the text here, choose to duplicate it, and then drag it down. We want it to eventually appear in the same location as part 1. But if you proceed and leave it there, it will be difficult to connect the data. As a result, we're going to automate this, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. So our template is almost ready to link our data, but we don't want both of these sets of text to show at the same time, right? It's part one, whatever the hook is, and part two, whatever the punchline is. So we want to alter the timing of when these show so they don't overlap. In order to do that, we'll right-click on part one and select show timing. This will bring up a timeline view where we can drag the text around to choose where to show the first part of text and when to show the second part of text. For a 6 second video, I usually prefer to have the first part of text shown for the majority of the video and the second part of text shown for a shorter period of time. For part 1, 
We'll leave it at three and a half seconds. You can change this to four or five seconds. It's up to you. This way, it just allows you to get a higher overall retention, higher overall watch rate, and as a result, your videos can reach more people. However, I believe that three and a half is appropriate, so we'll do the same for part two. If I click on part two, you can see that the timing is still accurate. I'll change this to appear at three and a half seconds in. So when we actually have two and a half seconds remaining, is that correct? So the next step is start connecting all of our text. To do that, we'll use a tool in Canva called Bulk Create. To access it, click apps in the bottom left, where you can see it here right where you found videos Bulk Create. When you click on it, it will prompt you to enter all of your data. This is why we asked ChatGPT to provide us with text in a table format so that we can copy and paste. And it knows this is one set of text to connect to another set of text to connect to a third set of text to connect to. So let's copy this and go into ChatGPT here and click enter data manually. And then what we're going to do is click the first column here in the top left and just paste in all of our text. And there we go. It's already formatted. It knows that these are topics. These are part ones. These are part twos. Let's click. Now it will ask you to connect this to specific elements in your editor so that it knows where to display that information. So topic, let's right click on topic here and select connect data topic. You can see that it now has squiggly lines around it, which indicates that it has been connected up. Repeat for parts one and two. Now that this is connected, I'm going to drag part two back over top of part one because that's where we want both sets of text to appear. We simply want one for three and a half seconds and the other for the last two and a half seconds. So we'll go ahead and click generate and it'll create each of these videos. So I'll go ahead and hit that now and here are our videos. If I press play, you will watch the first and second parts. So if I'm ready to export these and publish them to YouTube, I just hit share and download and make sure you select this download option. Pages as distinct files will result in separate videos that are ready to go. That's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.